Master, uh, can you hear us? Confirm your point of transmission. Repeat yourself. Please confirm your point of transmission. Confirm your message. I, I can hear you. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Please confirm the origin of transmission. You know, Duffy always said that he got more pussy than little Nickster in school. Theology student getting more than the sexy man. <laughs> That's because uh, Duffy always told the girls that Nick was gay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey guys, I stole this from work. So yes. Yeah. I forgot, but you do what you gotta do. And uh, I majored in psychology and theology before I dropped out. See, I thought it was ghosts and aliens. Seriously? That would have been parapsychology, as in the paranormal. <laughs> yeah, I know what parapsychology is, idiot. You're always talking about the creepy stuff you study. Mm. Yeah, actually, I did study one semester of it, parapsychology, in college. And it was this fantastic intensive about ghosts, demons, EVP. EVP? Don't you mean ESP? <laughs> Whatever. No. <laughs> no. 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 What? EVP. Yeah, electronic voice phenomenon. Yeah. It's a uh, spiritual communications captured on uh, electronic recordings. You, you never heard of EVP? No. Yeah. Oh, well, basically, it, it's using recording equipment to hear the voices of ghosts or demons. How? So you ask a question in a silent room. You play back the recordings at higher levels, as supposedly you can pick up responses from disembodied voices. Now, these are things that you do when you can't get laid, right, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's true on all accounts. <laughs> so wait, you believe this shit too? 
I'm agnostic on the subject. Agnostic. That means that means he has no opinion. Okay, just because I'm hot doesn't mean I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It sounds like a bunch of hocus pocus crap to me. You don't believe me? Okay, fine. Let's go downstairs and I'll prove it to you. Come on, ma'am. Yes. No. It, it, come on. It'll be fine. No, nothing about this sounds fun. Dude, are we gonna make one of those ESP recordings or whatever? There's the penis joke. Yep. Way to go, Nick. You didn't stop recording from the other night. You, you really have to stop filling up these drives with nothingness. <laughs> Chill, Duff. I, I was up late last night working. I must have forgotten to turn off the system. It, it's not that hard on the drives. Well, we already burned out three drives, you know. We're trying to save money, not spend it. Uh, Duff and I started a studio recording business about a year ago. We're still just trying to build it up, so he gets a little pissy when I forget to turn off the system. Well, hey, maybe you can play back that nothingness and see if you recorded a ghost. Yeah, sweet, man. We get some of that EVP stuff. Electronic voice phenomenal. <laughs> you guys laugh, but Duffy says there's some very reputable cases of EVP. Like what? Like, uh, you ever heard of the website Voices in Static? Hey, Duffy, no one listens to the stuff that you listen to. OK, well, there's this guy, Gerald Croft. He does ghost hunting, EVP experiments, spooky stuff. Here, I'll show you a video. What's wrong with you? There. A protective spiritual seal has been created around my cameraman David and myself. We will not leave the confines of the circle while addressing the demon known as Abigor. The entity encountered many times by the late Victor Konsky. Professor Konsky, who pioneered EVP research and quantum transmission theory during the Soviet era, he put forth a set of very specific instructions on communication with spirits. Now, as I've told my viewers many times, if you don't use these rigid instructions for psychic protection, you're gonna be dealing with some powers that you don't understand or can't reason with. Oh, so he's he's about to talk to the demon? Babe, I'm I'm not really a fan of demons or disembodied voices. Just come here. Just come up here. No. Come here. Shh. I wish to address Abigor at this time and Abigor only. David, uh, do you see the digital readout there? If if you can, can you pull in on the barometric pressure in the room? We've come to find that the standard barometric pressure drops whenever Abigor is present. Abigor, can you speak on our futures? Any particular disasters that might befall David or myself? Anything you could warn us of? Do you smell that? What is that? What? S something's wrong, Jerry. What, what, what is this? You don't smell that? What? David. David, David, stay in the circle. I, I, David, David it, you have to stay in the circle. I can't, I can't David, don't, the don't move. David, don't move. Stay in the circle. I, David, I David, stop. David, don't leave the circle. David, I'm, you have to stay I'm in the circle. David, out of here. David I stop. Don't move. Stay in the circle. David. Oh, my God. <sighs> I call bullshit. <laughs> That was all an elaborate hoax. Think what you want, but that Victor Konsky guy he was talking about killed himself in his research facility when he was listening to those voices. Dude, I want to try this. No, Jarek, seriously. What? I want to use the dead people. Voices from beyond, right? <laughs> How do you know they're dead people? 
I mean, could it be something else? How do people have any idea what they're messing with? Yo, can we ask for winning lottery numbers? Or what the fuck the ending of Lost meant? Rebecca, you know this isn't real, right? You've heard of power of suggestion? It is scary. I mean, maybe we shouldn't. Hey, Captain Vagina, there's only two things that I'm scared of. That's intimacy and commitment. Awesome. You want to do it? Yeah. OK, Jared, go in there. Just be careful with the stuff. Yeah? Yeah, go. All right, what do I do? Ask a question. Got a little bit better than a tape recorder down here. Who do I ask for? Invoke Abigor. Yeah. What do you mean? Invoke Abigor. Ask for Abigor. Ask for Abigor. We are calling for Abigor. We want to speak to Abigor and only Abigor. Let us hear your voice and bring us wisdom from your realm. Motherfucker. <laughs> OK, that's good. <laughs> All right, this is the raw recording. Let's hear the evil, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of exciting. You know, guys, I'm actually not okay with this. Wait, it's okay. No, it's okay. I'm it's gonna okay, go. Baby, just okay, baby, just relax. Let's Don't go. Worry. Okay. Don't go. Okay, fine. I'll go. John. All right, let me have it. So, can you stay the night? I wish I could, but I have to be up early to set up the bar. You should drop by. Jinx in the house. Got something. Oh. Um... I'm not sure what it is, but if I push this gain up. Do you guys hear that? Is that like a voice? It sounds like a voice. Well, I can't really tell. The other monitor is supposed to be on. We can't see the waveform. Dude, it's you. You're lying. Jerick, stop. Oh, damn it, Jerick. Jesus Christ. Really weird, Duff. I think it's time to head out. No more creepy sounds for us. Come on, guys. Always said go, so. Uh... What are you going to say? It's creepy, man. Sorry, Jen. guys. Come on, stay. Bye, Duff. Hey, where are you going? Got to get out of here. Where did Jen go? Well, we had a slight domestic issue, so she's taking the car. You, you'll be good? Yeah, I'll be good. OK. Well, i uh, see you Monday. We got that tone deaf guy coming in. OK? Yeah. All right. Bye, Bye. Duff. Nothing from you? No. Oh. <laughs> good man. He's good enough. <laughs> All right, let's let Nikki talk to his new fucker. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. So is it all right if I take you up on that drink this weekend? I would love that. Are you okay? She wants kids, man. It's just too much pressure, man. Like, she's got a freaking four-poster bed, like a little princess. <laughs> he hates all my Buddha statues. <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm going to go clean up and shut some stuff down in the studio. You sleep this off. Mm, 
don't leave the dries on. EVPs are not something that's easily heard, although it can certainly be exciting when you do discover one on your evidence reviews. My most popularly viewed experiment is called Interview with the Demon. Some of you might be familiar with that episode. I say the demon as I do believe that we encountered Abigor, an entity that I've spoken with before, also the same entity that the late Victor Konsky communicated with in his experiments. Subsequent to that session, we did have this, this office, this entire office exercised. That being said, I just want to remind my viewers that although I know this stuff can definitely be fascinating, however, it's very important to exercise caution when you're invoking the spirit realm. As we learned from the tale of the late Victor Konsky, there are certain hazards, certain very, very real and tangible hazards involved in this kind of work. So, just gonna say, simply put, please be careful. And, with that note, I'm always interested in hearing about your EVP experiments. <laughs> Anything you'd ever like to share with me and my viewers, feel free to drop me a line at my website, voicesinstatic.com. And there you'll find upload prompts for any video and audio files you'd like to share with me. Additionally, my book, Voices in Static, that you might be familiar with, it's still available. Still got lots of copies in stock. You can order it from me personally. And Fuck. 
That's an ugly painting. Jerk. Six makes the seventh. Six makes the seventh. Six makes the seventh. Jack, what are you doing? Six makes the seventh. Six makes the seventh. Six makes the seventh. Six makes the seventh. <laughs> Jack, man, you up? I had the craziest dream about you last night, and no, it wasn't a sex dream. Jack, you in there? Come on, man, I gotta take a piss. <clears throat> Jack. Oh, shit. Help! Somebody help! Jerk. Come on, wake up, man. Wake up! Come on! Jerk, wake up! Nick, I need to go over this one more time. So you put him in bed around 1.30? Uh, something like that, yeah. Um, I... I was downstairs cleaning up, shutting down the recording equipment in the studio. I came up and I saw him. You saw him on the sofa? I saw his shape. Yeah, yeah, and I heard him snoring. He snores. Would you characterize him as being incapable of driving last night? Yeah. Yeah, of course. He, uh, he was drunk. Did you guys have an argument? Excuse me? Was he upset? Did you get into an altercation? Did he want to leave? Uh, I'm sorry, am I being blamed for something? I'm just trying to cover all my bases. You're the last person to see him alive. I don't know what happened. Okay. Forensics is done. I'll be in touch. In the meantime, if you could think of anything, remember anything odd about last night, call me.
I miss that guy. Yeah, me too. Hey, thanks. Have you talked to Rebecca? Yeah. Yeah, but she didn't really know Jarek, so I didn't think to invite her. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna see you this week, though. So. Yep. <laughs> How's she doing? Not good. She's gonna go move back in with her parents for a little while. How about you? I'll be okay. I have to be for her. I need to show you something. What? That recording we made? Yeah. Private meeting. Cool. I'm just gonna grab some more wine. Okay. For before I even put uh, this I, I, I don't want to influence you. Carrie, just tell me what you hear. Okay, okay. Now, here's the same voice. Just in reverse, all right? Just reversing it, tell me if you hear anything. Well? What? What'd you hear? Uh, give me a second. I'm not sure. You heard it. Yeah, yeah, Jarek, Jen, Heather, Parker, you and me, it's a list. Number one, Jarek. What? Wyatt. You didn't show this to anyone else, right? No. You screwing with me? What are you, are you this is a joke. Talk, talk to me, what are you talking about? Six makes the seventh, are you joking with me, Nick? What, what are you talking about? Jarek is dead. Okay, we have a list of our names on a recording we didn't make. I heard it. You heard it. And it came true. As you see, I mean, we, right, all of us, are on some kind of list. And, and Jen's, she, she's next, man. 
You're assuming it's a list, Nick. What this is, if it's anything, is incriminating evidence linking us all to Jarek's death. You didn't bring those detectives down here, did you? No. I'm sorry about what happened to Jarek, Nick, but accidents happen. You need to snap out of it, man, because it was a coincidence. A coincidence? How is this voice a coincidence? What, what if something happens to Jen? Will you believe me then? Something is gonna happen to Jen, Nick. You hear yourself? You're freaking out. We need to keep this EVP thing to ourselves, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this Wait, file. I'll, I'll delete it when I'm done. Okay, don't touch it. Just because you heard something, Nick, doesn't mean that it's real. Mm -hmm. So all that stuff you've been saying. What stuff? What? All the stuff about the EVPs, all that stuff you were saying at the party, that was all bullshit. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Reassuring, man. Hey there. Hey, sweetie, it's Mom. What are you doing? You sound like you were sleeping. Uh, I'm back, just packing. Did you take those pills that Dr. Van Grove gave you? You'll be asleep until tomorrow night. Hello, honey? No, I... I haven't gone to bed yet. Are you still planning on coming home tomorrow? You know, he moved most of your brother's junk into the garage, and let me tell you, I do mean junk. Hope you don't have too much in the way of large items to bring home. You're not doing all that boxing up yourself, are you? Jen? Jennifer, what are you doing? Hello? No, it's fine. Uh, Heather and the boys are gonna help me move tomorrow. Oh, good. I'm glad they're gonna help you. Listen, uh, honey, we know this isn't easy, but it's gonna be okay. Now, your father and I would like to talk to you about your room a little bit. Um, we think that we should get it painted with that off-white color again. You know, with the blue accents that you like so much. Anyway, I... Uh, uh, hold on, Jennifer. I'm sorry. Hold on. Your dad and I never did think it was very comfortable looking or pretty to look at. You know, we have that smaller bed that we bought Grandma that she never used, of course, because we put her in a home. But it's brand new, so it's gonna fit perfectly in your room. So, uh, what do you think about the blue accents um, or the bed? I mean, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it either. You know, honey, maybe there is another way to deal with Jarek's death. I'm sure you've thought about it by now. Rather than move home with us, why don't you pick up a piece of that broken glass from the floor? And sit down and open your wrist. You know it will save on moving expenses. Besides, Jarek was the only man who ever loved you. You're not alone now, darling. I'm with you. Now sit down. Chen. Put your phone down, because you need to concentrate. Okay. Now, look at your wrist. Jennifer? I want you to take a nice, deep, vertical cut down that pretty wrist of yours. Come on now. That's it. Do what mommy tells you. 
Good girl. Hey, I've missed you. Yeah, I know. Are you doing okay? God, have you been sleeping? <sighs> Let me make you a drink. I just keep thinking about that night. You have to stop. <laughs> yeah, but I... I can't stop. I mean, what if... What, what if he'd gone home with Jen? Y you know, what then? I mean, they only got in a fight because of that stupid EVP shit. Nick, it is not your fault. Was there any booze in this? No. Okay, it's orange juice and seltzer water. You do not need a drink at 11.30 in the mm. morning. I should get going. Listen, whatever it is, do not keep it locked away, okay? Okay. Bad thoughts are like weeds. They tingle everything. All right. Now get out of here. Sorry, sir, I don't have anything. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey. Hey, have you left for Jen's yet? In a week, get yeah. just leave Wait. me alone, please. Thorvin, okay, Nick, who is that? we'll find I don't on? have anything for you to eat. Oh, hello, Nick. Where are you? Oh, my car's dead. Classic. How long did you huh. Heather?
Jem. Jen, honey, it's me. Jen! Jen? Jen? Jen! Jen, please pick up! Jen! Jen, please! Yeah, I need an ambulance right away to 3400 Brad Street. My friend cut her wrist, and there's blood everywhere. Can you please hurry? No, no, she's not breathing. Can you please hurry? No, no, she's, she's not breathing. Please. 3,400 Bradstreet, yes. Nick. <laughs> I need to show you something. Okay. Did you hear about Jen? I got the other monitor working fine. And guess what I found? Does that matter, Nick? Two of our friends are dead. Okay, you ready to listen to me now? Look at the waveform on the left. Okay, that's the voice we recorded. Look! Yeah. All right, now watch what I slid on the waveform. The list registers as a real voice, but our equipment says the six makes the seventh isn't there. It's not a real voice. I, um, I, you believe me now, don't you? Okay. We captured the voice as something. Well, we can't jump to conclusions without consulting someone first, you know? We'll, I already we'll have. I sent that Croft guy message. I left him my number and Skype handle. You did what, Nick? What did I tell you about that, Nick? I told you to keep it between you and me. That was a really bad idea. You should have came to me before you even talked to anyone else. Do you... Are you out of your mind? We need an expert's advice! With any luck... We'll hear from him soon. And in the meantime, I've been reading up on everything I can on EVV. Isn't it a possibility that maybe Jen did just kill herself? Look, Nick. I know that you want a deeper explanation of this. I, I don't want it. It's here. It's right here. I know it is. I'm with you. It, this is strange. But maybe it's not as strange as we think. Maybe everything is what it appears to be. Jen loved Jarek. And she was, you know, her pills, and she was depressed. If anything, we shouldn't have left her alone in her apartment that night. I'll take the blame for that. I know more about sound mixing than you do. I know more about sound mixing than anyone I know. And I can promise you, Nick, that if you listen to anything as much as you are, you'll hear whatever you want in the most innocuous static. That's happened before. You can't leave that option out. If that makes it easier for you, sure. I understand. I'm not trying to fight you here, Nick. Since Jarek died, <laughs> this is all you've been doing. You haven't been yourself, man. 
because I don't want anyone else to die, man. What aren't you getting? No one's gonna die, Nick. I'm showing this to you because I think you might be able to help me. You're looking at, at this. And you're not seeing it for what it is. This isn't a digital remnant, man. This is a voice that doesn't have a waveform. So you can help me. Or just leave. Yes, yes, hello, uh-huh. Mr. Croft. Call me Jerry. That audio file that you sent me. What, is it an EVP capture? No, 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 not even close. It's, well, it's a transmission, at least the second part. Uh, a transmission, what, what do you mean? I thought we, I thought we captured something. No, capture, capture would imply contained, like, like safely put away in a box and sealed up and set aside, like where nobody gets hurt. Here, this phrase, uh, the sixth makes the seventh. That, that voice, that voice is an open transmission. The, the phrase, it sounds like it's repeating, but every time, every time I played it, the subsurface anomalies, those weird, weird little sounds that you hear under the voice, they're never the same, ever. But haven't you looked at the waveform? It's all, first it's all spiky and jaggy, then there, there's that big drop into who knows where. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen the names. My friend's names, that's a waveform, but the second part. It's, it's a broadcast, get it? It's a broadcast outside of this world. That voice would not register on any of the equipment that you have. Nick. Has someone died here? Someone is associated with this? How would you know about that? The names on the list. What? It, it is a list. It's a list of names, names that are building towards something coming into this world and manifesting physically. The sixth makes the seventh. That's. It's a phrase associated with uh, one particular demon. The seventh. It's a declaration. Now, seven, well, as we know, seven, it's the spiritual number of completion. It's in scripture, seven being the, the number symbolizing perfection. However, demonically, seven represents the inverse of creation, anti-creation, the birth of perfect evil. So I'm gonna ask you again. Has anyone died here? Anyone associated with two people? Jarek and his girlfriend, Jen. In that order. Demons, demons are not physical entities, Nick. They're, they're, their power, it's a spiritual power. It's like energy. Energy, energy is something you can feel. You can also see its effects on, on people, but it's not organic. Demons. They can possess or influence us, but they are not us. Think, okay, think, think demon equals energy. Now, energy can be transmitted, get it? Okay, here it is. See that? Here's our guy. I'm fairly certain, uh, fairly certain you invoked Abigor. Now, in theory, okay, well, well, technically, everything in demonology is theory at this point. With enough life force, a friend here can, uh, can cross into the world and can manifest in physical form. Now, when that happens, I doubt that he's gonna look like some HP Lovecraft drawing of a cosplay nightmare, but he's very bad news. Let's recap. Six, six of you die, and then he comes into this world. He comes into this world as a physical entity. Why? Nick, why in the hell him? Your video. We, we saw it. It's not like we know a lot of actual demon names. My, my friend Jarek, he, he asked, like, Mrs. Croft, we, we were playing around. 
playing around, playing around. You assume this is something you could just play around with? Nick. These, these demonic entities, particularly the oldest ones, you can't just beg for their forgiveness after you were stupid enough to provoke them. Take my word on that. Take my word on that. You've, you've sensed him, felt just a flicker of an image, maybe an impression. Mirrors. Demons, they can use mirrors or reflective surfaces of any kind to they use them as portals. Just remember, demon, demon is energy. Anything, anything that transmits energy can also receive energy. So for instance, uh, your, your laptop, your, your cell phone, these devices, they're not your friend. Maybe you've... smelled sulfur. You felt uh, cold pockets of air in the house that can't be explained. So how do we stop it? Jarek, your friend Jarek died first. He's the one who invoked Abigor. Duffy, my, my, my friend Duffy, he, he showed us your video. Listen very closely. There were two voices on that EVP recording. Now one of them, which was electromagnetically imprinted on the file, was without a doubt the demon. The second, some, some outside entity uh, responding. Now, if this can be stopped, we have to trace the origin of the transmission. We have to pull the plug. We have to cut it off. Now, in this case, the origin is your friend Duffy. He invoked Abigor, hence he's the only one who can end it. How? The man who I uh, devoted most of my studies to in this area. Victor Konsky. Professor Konsky, he understood that if he were to allow a demonic presence to enter into this world as a physical presence, if he allowed himself to be the conduit, let's just say our very existence would end. Hell on Earth. Nick, that's not a metaphor. What, what did he do to stop it? I killed himself. You, you can't be suggesting Duffy kill himself. No, no, I didn't say that, did I? Look, this transmission needs to be severed. Once it's severed, then in theory, the predator will lose the scent. Of course, that's uh, provided that no one else dies in the meantime. It's all I can say it's gonna be helpful to you. Well, uh, best of luck, kid. And uh, don't take it personally, but I'm not going to be opening any more files that you send me. Mr. Croft. Nick, come on, I know you're in there, man. Nick, come on! What's going on with you, man? We haven't seen you, you're not answering any of our calls, and then, then you send us this? You and Heather come to the house as quickly as you can. There's a recording that concerns both of you. Don't tell Duffy. This is life and death. Nick, what is going on? You heard it, Heather. The night of the party. But really, it's what you didn't hear. What Duffy has been telling me to keep to myself. Nick, look at me. Look at me. Nick, you cannot go crazy. You cannot go crazy, okay? This concerns both of you. No, 
Uh, Duffy said I have to consider how this looks. If I go to the police, it'll look like I have a list of who's gonna die and in what order. From the voice we recorded, it makes it look premeditated, like, like I'm somehow responsible. And at this point, I... Wait, what voice, man? What list? What are you talking about? Just press play. Please turn it off. I want to hear it again. No, babe, please turn it off. Please turn it off. Order of your death. 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 Order Parker. Parker. I don't believe in this stuff. Neither do you. He's not insane. I feel something. I see things out of the corners of my eyes. Shapes mostly, sometimes faces, a face. After images and mirrors and- well, hey, Heather, what, what, what about mirrors? <sighs> all right, guys, this is, this is insane, all right? This is, this is the stress of losing two of our best friends. That's it. Okay? Oh, we're gonna make it through this. All of us. I'm taking you home. Come on. I will call you in the morning. And pick up your phone. No more of this, man. Hey, it's Duff. Leave a message. Hey, Duff. Haven't heard from you today. I spoke to Croft. Call me.
What's going on? Did you hear that? There's someone in the house. There's someone in the house. Get up. Get the gun. Stay here. Call the police. He said what? Stay here. Okay, okay. If anybody's here, you should know that I have a gun and it's loaded. So you should get out. Now! Glass all over the floor. Did you do that? No. You okay? Yeah, I couldn't call 911. I kept saying no service. Something's in the air. Do you smell that? No. You don't smell that? No. What scared you out here? What'd you see? I just keep thinking about Jack. I'm list. There's no list. I'm next on the list. Heather, there's no list. Okay? Parker, you didn't see the blood? There's so much blood. Hey. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I promise. Okay. We need sleep. You want me to check the rest of the house with my firearm? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Nick. Hello? We received your transmission. You're not real. 
Okay, you, you can't be. You may declare your lies to God, but your truth is born in darkness and fear. And your fear is what we want. Leave us alone! <laughs> Man, why aren't you picking up your phone? What? what you... Dude, Heather and Parker are freaking out. We gotta get over there right now. Come on, man, come on. Come on! Heather, okay. stop. Okay. Why are you covering everything up? Stop it, you're freaking me out. Heather. What? Stop. What? Stop covering everything. Okay. No, I can't. No, we had to hear. There's nothing. Yes, it was right behind you. I saw it right behind here. you. I checked. I checked no, the entire no. house. But we didn't. We only checked the mirrors, and and the tele TV. That's all we checked. Are you hearing yourself? Are you hearing me? Yes. No. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's here. It is here. And it, it wants us. It's gonna kill us. It was right behind you. Nothing is gonna kill and us. And a gun, it, it, the gun doesn't scare him. A gun's not gonna do anything. It's trying to kill us. You have to stop. We're next on the list. There's no list. Yes, yes. There is no list. There's a okay? list. There's a list. There's no list. We are Heather, on the right. list. I'm done with this list, okay? No. It's right outside. There's nothing. It's here. right outside. There's nothing it's right outside. outside. We need Heather, to no, go. I'm not leaving our own house. No, no I'm not leaving. Seat. Stop! Stop! Stop!
I need you to listen, Nick. Right, are you listening? <sighs> I told you I spoke to Gerald Croft. He told me how to end all this. <sighs> Happy Lord's be coming. He said to trace the origin of the transmission. Stop the signal. That's what I need to talk to you about is um, the, the voice. The recording. What, what about the voice? <laughs> well, we both know four dead friends. All lined up now. Consumed by some demon. Oh, man, what, what, what we both know is what we can see and believe. You know, that's all. Um, I, I, I should have told you them uh, after Jerick died I, I just kept going over and over in my head how impossible it all was I, I mean and that was that was insane I mean it was logical in its own fucked up way but insane you know you know theology is the study of the nature of God and religious, religious belief. It's all backwards. Nature and belief, Nick. We believe what is in our nature to believe in. The environment and reality we create. So I tell you and Jen and Jarek, Heather Parker something, and everything starts becoming real because you guys choose to believe in it. Jarek, Jen, Heather, Parker, Duffy, Nick. Order of your death. I, I didn't want that, you know, that, that, that list, it just came to me. I, I, I was like, yeah, sure, tell them they're on some sort of demonic list. That'll, that'll freak them out. Uh, it'll be a fun little prank and that reverse the waveform so it sounds backwards. That'll scare them to death. Your voice. Yeah, well, my voice and some additional effects, uh, reverb. Just stuff It'll I can be, manage. Be your voice, Drops your words. Yeah, that's. I just want to let you know it's all me, Nick. It's not you, and I, you want to make this right, and I understand. Look, it's it's not your fault, Nick. I, 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 I am not guilty. No, you, you, you did this. This this makes me seven. We're all gonna no, die. I never said that. Shut up. Stop it. <laughs> help you. I, I didn't kill anyone, Nick. You opened the door. You made the list. You opened the door. I didn't mean for it to be this, Nick. I'm sorry. What do you want? I'm sorry. Nick, there's nothing we could do about it anymore. I, I, We just gotta move on. I never want to see your face again. Nick. Don't say that. Nick, I... Get out! Get out! I'm sorry! Nick, get out of my house! I don't want to see you!
it's Nick. Take a message. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I love you so much. I want you to pick up. Not so. And, and we'll figure this out. Figure this out. I'll figure it out, man. You need a drink. Yeah, a real one. How about you go change and I'll open up a bottle of wine right away? You choose. What's that? It's the alarm on the drive when it's reached capacity. I just forgot to turn it off again. I'll go shut it down.
Detective, we're all clear up here. No sign of forced entry. You want us to start the canvas at the neighborhood? Yeah, do that. There's nothing down here. 